wikipediaworld.com this is somja jenaya your online biology tutor the chapter is what is water pollution water pollution is commonly defined as any physical chemical or biological change in water quality which adversely impacts on living organism in the environment or which makes a water resource unsuitable for one or more its beneficial uses some of the major categories of beneficial uses of water resources include public water supply irrigation recreation industrial production and nature conservation realizing the importance of maintaining the cleanliness of water bodies the government of india has passed the water prevention and control of population act in 1974 to safeguard our water resources sources of water pollution water quality can be affected by pollution from point sources and non point sources point sources are identifiable points or places such as pipe or channel which discharge directly into a body of water this might be from wastewater treatment plants factories and industrial plants latrines septic tanks or pipe discharge from barnyards or other places where livestock are confined non point sources are those where pollution arises over a wide area and it is often difficult to locate the exact place of origin for example fertilizer or pesticide washed from a field by rain may seep into river or stream at many places both on surface and through the soil pollution from non point sources also known as diffuse pollution which contributes most of the contaminants in rivers and lakes other non point sources are pollution from construction sites and other land disturbances this problems in identifying the exact point of origin make the non point sources much more difficult to control types of water pollution there are two types of water pollution the first one ground water pollution the second one surface water pollution ground water pollution considerable amount of earth's water is found in soil or under rock structures called aquifers people use aquifers to obtain drinking water and build wells to access it in case this water becomes polluted it is called ground water pollution ground water refers to water collected under the earth's surface ground water pollution is a change in the properties of ground water due to contamination by microbes chemicals hazardous substances and other foreign particles it is a major type of water pollution the sources of ground water are rain snow hail sleet etc water that falls on the earth surface continues to travel downwards due to gravity until a sound comes where it is saturated with water at this depth the spaces between soil and rock particles are filled up with water this particular zone is known as the saturated zone the topmost portion of the saturated zone is referred to as water table the level of the water table changes depending upon the season it is the highest in spring and lowest in summer ground water pollution is caused by pesticide contaminations from the soil and this can be in effect the drinking water and lead to huge problems the sources of ground water pollution are either natural mineral deposits in rocks or man made natural resources are less harmful compared to hazardous chemicals generated by human activities any chemical present on the surface can travel underground and cause ground water pollution the seepage of the chemical depends on the chemical type soil porosity and hydrology one of the major sources of ground water pollution is industries manufacturing and other chemical industries require water for processing and cleaning purposes this used water is recycled back to water sources without proper treatments which in turn result in ground water pollution surface water pollution 
these are the natural water resources of the earth these are found on the exterior of the earth crust ocean rivers and lakes water is an essential commodity for survival we need water for drinking cooking bathing washing irrigation and for industrial operations most of the water for such uses comes from rivers lakes or groundwater sources water has property to dissolve many substances in it therefore it can easily get polluted main sources of surface water pollution are industries power plants underground coal mines offshore oil well etc surface runoff from agriculture fields overflowing small drains rainwater sweeping roads and fields atmospheric deposition etc are the non point sources which cause surface water pollution major types of water pollutants human activities give rise to water pollution by introducing various categories of substances or waste heat into a water body the more common types of polluting substances include pathogenic organisms oxygen demanding organic substances plant nutrients which stimulate algal blooms inorganic and organic toxic substances and oil <coughs> effect of water pollutants the first one pathogenic organisms many serious human diseases such as cholera typhoid bacterial and amoebic dysentery enteritis polio and infectious hepatitis are caused by water borne pathogens in addition malaria yellow fever and filariasis are transmitted by insects that have aquatic larvae the second one biodegradable organic substances when a biodegradable organic waste is discharged into an aquatic ecosystem such as a stream a stream or lake oxygen dissolved in the water is consumed due to the respiration of microorganisms that oxidize the organic matter the more biodegradable a waste the more rapid is the rate of its oxidation and the corresponding consumption of oxygen because of this relationship and its significance to water quality dissolved oxygen levels in the water the organic content of the waste water is usually measured in terms of the amount of oxygen consumed during its oxidation that is termed as biochemical oxygen demand or bod microorganisms involved in biodegradation of organic matter in the receiving water body consume a lot of oxygen and as a result there is a sharp decline in dissolved oxygen downstream from the point of seaway discharge this causes mortality of fish and other aquatic creatures plant nutrients the availability of the plant nutrients particularly nitrogen and phosphorus are very important determinants of the biological productivity of aquatic ecosystem <coughs> presence of large amounts of nutrients in water also causes excessive growth of planktonic that is free floating algae called algal bloom which imparts a distinct color to the water bodies algal blooms cause deterioration of the water quality and fish mortality some bloom forming algae are extremely toxic to human beings and animals this is a picture which showing algal bloom toxic inorganic pollutants many inorganic substances are released by natural weathering of rocks and washed into water courses however human activities such as mining and mineral processing as well as wastage have been responsible for far greater quantities of toxic inorganic pollutants entering water supplies and aquatic ecosystems of particular concern among these are arsenic an ingredient of some pesticides and heavy metals such as mercury lead tin and cadmium as they tend to accumulate in tissues mine drainage and leaching of mine tailing as well as metal finishing and inorganic chemical industries are major sources of metal pollution in the water environment next one toxic organic chemicals many thousands of natural and synthetic organic chemicals are in use today for manufacture of a variety of products ranging pesticides pigments pharmaceuticals and plastics 
several of these are known to cause birth abnormalities, genetic defects and cancer. Some chemicals like DDT and PSVs are concentrated in tissues to dangerous levels. Many are only very slowly biodegradable and persist in the environment for long periods of time. Oil Pollution Petroleum is one of the major energy sources today and huge volumes of oil are transported between points of production and the consumption around the globe. All along these major transportation routes, oil spills happen regularly and oil sleeves are ever present. With serious spills, many marine birds and other animals are choked to death by these oil sleeves. Even when dispersed, many hydrocarbons in the oil are very toxic to the aquatic organisms. Some are thought to be very carcinogenic in nature. Oil being lighter than water, it floats on the surface as a thin film which can interfere with transfer of gases such as oxygen and carbon dioxide as well as heat between the water and the atmosphere. This is a picture of an oil spill. Biomagnification A few toxic substances often present in the industrial waste water can undergo biological magnification or biomagnification in the aquatic food chain. What is biomagnification? Biomagnification means the increase in the concentration of toxicant at successive tropic levels. This happens because a toxic substance accumulated by an organism cannot be metabolized or excreted and is thus passed on to the next higher tropic level. This phenomenon is well known for mercury and DDT. This is the diagrammatic representation of the biomagnification of DDT in an aquatic food chain. In water, the DDT amount is 0.003 ppm. ppm means parts per million. When it is taken by zoo plankton, it increases to 0.04 ppm. When small fishes are ta taken, that zoo plankton are eaten by small fishes, their DDT level again increases to 0.5 ppm. When the large fish ate all these small fishes, its DDT level increased to 2 ppm. And last, the fish eating birds have the DDT amount of 5 ppm in their body. This is the process called biomagnification. Eutrophication. It is the natural aging of lake by biological enrichment of its water. In a young lake, the water is cold and clear, supporting little life. With time, streams draining into lake introduce nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus, which encourage the growth of aquatic organisms. As the lake's fertility increases, plant and animal life bargain and organic remains begin to be deposited on the lake bottom. Over the centuries, a silt and organic debris piled up. The lake grows shallower and warmer with warm water organisms, splendid those that thrive in cold environments. Marsh plants take root in the shallows and begins to fill in the original lake basin. Eventually, the lake gives way to large masses of floating plants above, finally will converted into land. And this process is called eutrophication. Cultural or accelerated eutrophication. Pollutants from man's activities like effluent from industries and homes can radically accelerate the aging process. This phenomenon have been called cultural or accelerated eutrophication. This is the diagrammatic representation of eutrophication. At first, it is an oligotrophic state, that is the lake is very young. It has deep and nutrient poor system. Slowly, it becomes nutrient enrichment and that time it is called mesotrophic stage. Finally, it will become nutrient saturated shallow algae and bacterial development. This stage is called eutrophic stage. Control of water pollution. With increasing urbanization and expanding agriculture and industrial production, water pollution problems have progressively become more serious and necessitated the adoption of suitable control measures for ameliorating the pollution. Approaches to controlling sources of water pollution may be grouped into three broad categories. 
first one minimization of waste or pollutant generation second one treatment prior to disposal of waste streams at source third one in situ reduction or elimination of pollution when a water body is already adversely affected it will be necessary to consider the action aimed at helping the ecosystem recover from the impact of pollution methods to facilitate these are collectively grouped under in situ control techniques thank you the next video we will be discussing about the solid waste and management agrochemicals and their effect radioactive waste materials greenhouse effect and global warming